KD or Larry Bird? Who you got taking the game winning shot? Honestly, I'm going Kevin Durant. I gotta go to Kevin Durant. Hey, that's all I needed here, bro. I gotta go to Kevin that's all I'm saying. So, Who's the best team you've ever seen? Best team I've ever seen? Honestly, the Warriors. Yeah. The Warriors with Kevin Durant on there. Like, yep. Amari, Mike Price, Ramel Lloyd, Shy Odom, Yanni Wright. It's it's a problem, guys. So it was really cool. Special shout out to Sierra Cannon for letting Quick Eleven let me in there and talking it up with the guys. Man, confidence is a all time high for these guys. And you can just tell the camaraderie with them. It's really cool. Everybody's kind of welcomed in. And it's just, it's a beautiful thing to see, man. Because basketball nowadays, I don't think you really get people that kind of ride behind you with big group, especially when they could all go anywhere else and do their own thing. I mean, if Mike Price wanted to go to a different school, like Oak Hill or something, he could be the guy. But it's a credit to Sierra Canyon's whole staff, Coach Chevalier, Dave Sobel, everybody that keeps it together is is just kind of setting the precedent of what you can have and what you should be doing with these guys. So I got some of the I got some exclusive stuff. I had to try to match it all in eight minutes. It was really hard. It was I mean this media day went on for about two hours, so it was really hard to just match everything in right now, like what I'm doing. Um, I hope you guys appreciate it. I hope you guys like it. And you know I'm going to be bringing more Sierra Cannon games. But this was just a little bit cool, like behind the scenes kind of look of who they are, what they're about. And, and man, at the end of the day, they're really just kids. Like I know Amari Bailey, he's with OVO and he's with Vape. And I mean, he's with UCLA and the guy could go to G League, he'd go to the NBA. I mean, look at Mikey Williams. Mikey Williams signed with Puma, doing all this stuff. I mean, I'm all over the place right now. I'm all over the place right now because... High school basketball, since I've been covering it, has never been like this. You know what I mean? Like, like who is going to play? Who is really going to be challenging this team? I don't know. I, I want to see who it could be. Um, I, I was even talking to Jim Hill about it. And Jim Hill is like a legendary sportscaster. If you don't know about him, Jim Hill has been around in L.A. for... 40, 50 years, I don't even know how many years, but it's, it's longer than my lifetime, and I've been here a long time, and it was kind of cool to talk to him about who would be the best in a situation with the Steph Curry team with KD, and that, that, that went on a whole different level, like that was, that was just something that we have never seen, you know, when that happened, and then to see, to see it happen was wild, and these, all these kids, they, they seen it. So they know what can happen if you join up forces. You know, it's, it's almost like unstoppable. So I even asked Amari and I asked Mike, who would you take, Kevin, KD or Larry Bird? And you guys already know what they said. And a lot, a lot of the guys that are born in the 70s, 60s, beyond, y'all gonna say Larry because Larry will tell you where he's gonna shoot and all that and, and do it, right? KD will do it too. So it was really cool to see, man. I'm bringing more stuff. I got more interviews and everything, but man, keep it locked on Quick 11. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Keep it locked here. I'm bringing you guys more reactions, more stuff. And shout out to y'all. Have a good one. Peace. Probably 11 of our 13 guys back from last year. So not only will we be 
deep of what we experienced um, uh, and have a super high IQ. So uh, I'm super excited about this. I'm proud of today to officially get started um, you know, with the Sierra Canyon team. And so I'm here for any other questions. Uh, I know in the spring, Shy had to play a, a lot bigger and maybe a little out of position. Obviously, now we've got Kajani. Can you talk a little more specifically about um, the size that him and Jeremiah bring to the team? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think Shy uh, is very capable of playing the four and the three. Uh, but last year, uh, we, he definitely had to play a very big for us and had to dominate the class. Um, but, you know, considering that Kajani's around the paint and Jeremiah be around the paint, um, I think that's going to make Shai's job much easier. Uh, it'll allow him to get, you know, probably more rebounds than last year because other people are going to try to build those two. Uh, and I think Shai is really going to be able to show his, uh, his overall package. Uh, Shai is gifted uh, in the offensive end, uh, and I think you'll see that uh, inside and outside this year. Johnny, I was going to ask you, you know, obviously uh, we all know how, how great you are on defense and, and and your size and your ability, but uh, offensively, you know, can we talk a little bit about your development there? Uh, we have the past few years on the to change our game from being one of those to the perimeter area. So uh, it's consistent for a consistent ball game and shoot. So I'm going to go to the back of the series. Coach, uh, October, whatever it is, do you have a starting five in mind, or is it too soon to go there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have a starting five because they determine a the starting five. Uh, we are very competitive in practice, uh, and so each day they're vying for a starting spot. Um, so, you know, we, we always talk about being a monster. Uh, and if you can prove that you're a monster in practice, uh, that's the way that you earn your playing time in your starting position. Uh, and then again, we always have to, this year especially, uh, at the end of last year, we all, always have to look at injuries and, you know, who, who can play the majority of the game, who has to sit for a couple of minutes. Um, but no, I don't have a starting lineup set yet. What's the plan to try to keep everyone happy with playing time, just because there's so many mouths to feed this year? Um, the, the pace that we'll play at will require them to ask for a break, hopefully. Um, Amari don't ever want to come out of the game, but hopefully we can get tired enough this year that he'll ask for a minute. Um, but I think that you know, with us playing at the pace, we're going to pressure a lot defensively and push the ball. Uh, and if we're able to do that, there, there's not going to be a worry about playing time. And, you know, uh, every year people ask me, how are you going to do this and um, do that with, you know, the amount of minutes that you have and the people that you have. But uh, they always find a way to sacrifice for each other uh, and to find a way to win. And I think that's the most important thing, uh, that they buy into winning by uh, sharing the ball. And this is what they do. Would you admit that this year is a little different maybe than in years past with just so many talented guys? or? Is it I think we didn't have so many talented guys two years ago. <laughs> no, <laughs> man, like, nah, yeah, they, these guys, uh, I, th I think this year we have a good like mix of young talent, old talent, right? Like it's an older talent. And so, you know, the younger guys will learn from the older guys. Um, but again, uh, they sacrifice for each other. And it doesn't matter the number of players that we got. We travel uh, and we play multiple games, you know, on a trip. Uh, and this year, you, you'll notice that when we travel, we don't play two games. We're playing one game. Uh, we're trying to like, not miss as much school. Um, so we'll try to leave out one day, uh, play a game, and come back on Sunday before school starts on Monday. Uh, so we try to get wider uh, you know, in the scope of what we do. Uh, and if you look at the schedule, you'll see that, that we've done that. Uh, we traveled a bit in October, uh, but you know, as much as people want to use those games to try to judge us, we use those games to to, to build camaraderie, to give other people a chance to play, uh, and to see who we have. Um, and so these trips have been fun for us, not a lot of pressure, uh, but, but the travel will not be what it was two years ago. We, we are going to take care of uh, our kids at a high level. So. On December 4th, you get to play at the Staples Center. Can you talk about how you look upon that game, that opportunity? Because again, the state championships will be back in an NBA arena. Is that going to be important to kind of get them for the field? Um, we, I think we play in an NBA arena just depending on COVID a couple times this year. Um, you know, Amari's used to playing, you know, in the NBA arenas. Um, so anytime we get experience playing in the arena, I think, I think definitely is cramp, preparing us for uh, the state championship. But more than that, uh, it's preparing them for college and the NBA. 
Uh, and everything we do here is trying to prepare them for college and the NBA. Uh, so uh, it's going to be exciting to play in Staples Center because uh, uh, it's the first time that we'll play a huge game like that in LA uh, in a big arena. Uh, and hopefully people will come out and see us because uh, uh, it's just wonderful for our guys to have the support uh, from their hometown. But we're, we're definitely looking forward to that. I have a question for Amari. Amari, I know um, there were moments in the spring, uh, especially down the playoff stretch, where you were, you were trying to will the team to victory and uh, just came up a little short. So I'm curious about what your approach is this year and uh, if the state title is on your mind. Sure, maybe so. win every year and um, that's not ever going to change for me. Um, step on next and be on next. Uh, in, in, in your role, do you feel like you've had to take on more leadership, and how are you doing that? Um, for sure, I feel like my leadership is growing every year. Um, and I gotta take steps to learn how to be a better leader in different forms and different ways of leadership. So, this game, I'm learning how to be a better leader in well, Mari, what will we see different in your game? Obviously, you had a phenomenal junior year, but what will be different about Amari Bailey as a senior? I'm a senior in the gym shot. Really, uh, shooting three of our range, getting to close, um, showcasing the one I've seen. I think you guys know from watching Amari over a period of time, he's capable of doing everything. Playing defense, uh, distributing the ball. So we are we are looking forward to seeing him do all aspects of the game at every level of the game um, because he's proven that he can do everything. Um, but if we can get him to, as, as a senior do everything in one year, I, I can't imagine what I wanted to see him do once. So we're excited about seeing that. So our practices are you know sometimes tougher than games, uh, and so you know this year that is really uh, the case um, because. When we split the groups up five on five, it is highly competitive. Um, we have guys on both sides that can do every single thing. Uh, and so, you know, it really helps us to prepare at a very high level. Uh, and again, it prepares them for, you know, when they step onto a university level uh, or NBA court, right? Every single player there is a cream of the crop. Uh, and if they're already used to competing against that on a daily basis, uh, they're going to be one step ahead of everybody else. But, uh, this year's group, as I said, we're, we're well beyond 10-D, right? Uh, and so the 5-on-5 five five and the 6-on-6 six six and 7-on-7 seven seven that we split, uh, you know, it, it's super competitive. Uh, and I think if I split these two teams, uh, it could be a legitimate starting five wherever they go. What have been some of the best matchups in practice? Who against who? Uh, we haven't seen it yet because he's hurt and he knows hurt. Um, and so, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, Amari against Mike and Ronnie against Matoya. And every day I can flip them and, and you know, give them different opportunities to play against a taller player or a shorter player. How do you deal with pressure for a quarter? Uh, you know, from Matoya and then from Ronnie and then from Amari. Uh, and so, you know, we haven't had that yet because uh, we haven't been fully healthy. Uh, but once, once we are healthy, uh, it, will, it will be crazy matchups. So they are super competitive uh, with each other. So are you expecting everyone to be healthy when the season starts? My expectation, yes, that they'll be healthy. Um, but if not, we'll, we'll hold it. We'll hold it down until they get back. That's how we do. It. And uh, what are your impressions of Isaiah so far? If he's healthy. Uh, he's a special offensive player. Um, you know, he's you know definitely lives up to the billing uh, on the offensive side. Uh, but our job is to make him a better player across the board. We're not going to let him let him stay where he is. Uh, he needs to understand uh, schemes and concepts a little bit more. Uh, he needs to play defense on, on, at the same level that he plays offense. Uh, he needs to use his athleticism on the defensive side like he does on the offensive side. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, he's a very special talent. Um, and, you know, he's going to be, I think, you know, uh, uh, Mario's going to be the greatest to ever play here. So, um, and I think Isaiah will be right behind him. i got a question for Amari. Um, I think uh, that still means that you're the two-time defending state open division champs. But um, I'm wondering, having, you know, not got uh, uh, to win the Southern Section Championship, some other, you know, schools are probably feeling pretty good about themselves. Do you feel you have something to prove this this year, especially your senior year, for the rest of the, certainly uh, Southern California, if not the whole state? 
side. Now, with a couple of other big guys on the team, what might we see uh, more on your overall offensive game? grown as a, as a person? Shai, talent-wise, how would you compare this year's team to the last two teams you've been on here?
Shy? Uh, coming from home, um, I've never seen anything like this. I got some very just kind of great taste, uh, the DNA experience. And, uh, yeah, they do this at the next level of college. Ramel, you guys play at Stibble Center this year. What's that going to mean to you? It's going to mean a lot to me. Uh, LA Long Beach, boy, it's going to mean a lot. <laughs> Garden for Shy? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, same thing for you, Shy. What's it mean for you? I'm sure practices were pretty challenging for you, but just talk about how you're how excited you are to contribute to the team. I'm really excited. It was whole like last about, year. Like whole last year, I was sitting on the bench, like I was immensely the team. I was waiting for my time to be on the court. Too much. That's it. Mike, let's talk about you. Um, Obviously, you know, we all, we all know locally that how talented you are. Uh, you were at Crespi and then the Bay. And so just talk, trying to talk about maybe something specifically you know you can bring to the team, your skill set. Um, honestly, I just feel like I'm a dog on both ends of the floor. I help my team win. Um, I can score the ball well. Uh, I can facilitate very high level. And I can control the game. You like playing fast? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mike's super, super elite in the open court. Right. Um, so anything that we can do to spread the floor for him, um, you know, once he gets to the basket, uh, and show his offensive skill set, um, I think we do. But uh, in a half court, he has, he has a unique ability to squeeze through small spaces. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, that, that's been very special for us uh, to see. Uh, and I just think that's going to be very tough for other teams because how do you guard like four different players who play four different ways? Um, but definitely on the offensive side, he's gifted. Uh, he needs a little bit more work on the defensive side uh, <laughs> and understanding. <laughs> As a young man, he's wonderful. Uh, he's so pleasant around school. Uh, so you know, that that combination of being a wonderful kid on campus but then a monster on the court uh, is very great. So we're, we're super excited about this here. Coach, would you say that this is uh, your deepest backcourt since you've been here? Uh, we're the deepest in every position that I've been here. It's not even close. Uh, and uh, for us to have the ability uh, to have multiple lineups and uh, different looks. Um, I think it's what's going to make us very tough to guard this year. Uh, we can be super big uh, with Amari at the point and Shai at the wing, Tim at the wing, and Johnny and Jeremiah playing. Uh, and then we can go super small with four guards uh, and shot. Uh, so it's going to give us multiple looks. So we are going to be in position um, you know, since I've been here. Uh, and I think we're a chance to USC when Pete Carroll had them stack three deep in every position. Mm. Um, we, are, we are pretty close to that this year. Uh, if everybody can be healthy uh, throughout the entire year. So again, uh, super excited uh, you know, to have this group. Mike, we seen you play against the Air Cannon last year. 
and tell me about what you were going, what was going on in your head, and tell me about what's going on now and the relationship with Amari. We thought they were going to win when they were up 17 in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was tough. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. All right, thanks.